Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Have you ever woken up early just to avoid the long lines at the voting polls? Do the long lines discourage you from casting your vote? No matter where you're from, we can all agree that the voting process has its hiccups and ultimately needs to be urgently updated. There have been previous attempts to migrate to online voting, but the fear of being hacked has been much greater. Could blockchain be the key piece that's been missing from our systems? Blockchain-based elections are not exactly new to the real world. In November of 2018, the first large-scale political election executed on blockchain was held by Thailand's oldest political party to elect a new leader to the party. They're launching their initial coin offering in October with a product that answers the question, if democracy was designed with today's technology, what would it look like? So what kind of solutions can we expect from blockchain-based elections? Well, that's what we're going to discuss today. If you find this topic interesting, you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know by leaving a comment in the comments down below. Now let's jump into it. Security from hacking. A blockchain-based application is structured in a way that guarantees maximum protection from hackers. It doesn't rely on an internet connection, and information is distributed among several nodes around the globe. The access to one node will not affect other nodes, and this decentralization is the pillar of its security. Voter anonymity. Your personal details and political preferences will remain discreet while voting. You'll vote without revealing any details that you aren't comfortable with sharing. Countering voter fraud. It's impossible to alter information once it's been entered into the blockchain. Once information is entered, it's immutable and can't be tampered with forever. And this guarantees that each unique ID will be attributed to a single vote and can't be duplicated. Voter apathy. Imagine voting at the comfort of your own home on your computer or even your phone. This would be a dream, especially when it comes to national elections. And more people would be motivated to vote, which would increase the amount of votes that come in, since the process would be much more convenient for people. And then there's also cheaper elections. Ballot boxes, ballot papers, and other physical items used during elections won't be required. Currently in the United States, for example, one vote can cost anywhere from seven to $25. And this cost would drastically go down to just 50 cents per vote while using blockchain technology. So if you found any of these points interesting, then I think that deserves a click on that like button if you haven't already. In November of 2020, a team from MIT released a draft paper warning people of the downsides of using a blockchain system. The paper argues that even though blockchain seems better, they're not entirely safer. They argue that a cyber attack would be harder to detect because it would be executed on a much larger scale. And they also say that an attack would be easier to execute compared to the analog physical system that we're accustomed to. They argue blockchains can tolerate a few people who are acting maliciously, and a blockchain-based voting application would still be executed on vulnerable network infrastructures and devices. But in response to that, Pete Martin, the CEO of Votum, which is a blockchain-based voting company, aired his disagreement in a session at Decrypt Daily Podcast. He went on to say that traditionally, once you place a vote on the ballot, you lose the chain of custody. But blockchain brings accurate end-to-end -end verifiability. He also went on to discuss why a blockchain-based system still emerges superior in many ways, and also where the future is headed. The success of the Utah County elections is pushing towards the widespread use of blockchain voting systems. A county clerk auditor by the name of Amelia Powers, who oversaw the blockchain voting process in Utah, confirmed a proposed bill on mobile voting. She went on to say how it would make room for small pilot projects that would allow them to prove the workability of the technology for the prospects of its future use. So there we have it. We've looked at the use of blockchain in voting and elections with the benefits of blockchain being security from hacking, voter anonymity, countering voter fraud, voter apathy, and cheaper elections. As always, if you found any of these points interesting, let us know which ones in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.